Hey everyone, this is Jesse with Idaho Homesteading. I wanted to do a video on my aquaponics system that's all set up now. Um, yesterday I got a order of black lava rock. And if you've ever had lava sand, you'll notice that there is sand all in these lava rocks. So you have to wash them and uh, basically what I did was put a big old thing out here, filled up with water and moved it around back and forth all the time. And that's kind of the remnants, but you can see how dirty the water is. Uh, I built a brace for this. Uh, basically, the tote, there's a wire cage right here um, on this side. And I'll put another 2x4 right here just to strengthen this up. I'll probably get some cinder blocks and put those underneath as well just in case. Um, but if you don't know how the system works, basically there's a pump running over there. It pumps out a certain rate right here. And you control that with this brass fitting work, which works really well, but you can kind of see how quickly it's going. So if this was going way too fast and you're pumping out you know, a lot of water in here, um, it would never stop draining. But you can see the water level right here. So right now I have it set to about right there. So it'll slowly fill up and raise the water level. Once it hits um, over here, let me show you that. Right here we have the drain pipe. And so you see this inner pipe right here. Um, as soon as the water goes over this pipe, you see how there's holes at the bottom of this. So the water will fill up in there and you can see that, that mark right there. As soon as the water goes over that, it creates a suction and it'll drain the water all the way to the bottom. And so therefore it'll just keep raising and lowering on a certain frequency and put water back into the, the bottom. I also have, you can see that it's full of algae right now. Um, we got some some cattail from a local creek, so we're hoping to uh, kind of filter out that stuff before I start putting fish in here. And um, we also grabbed some cuttings of elderberry from a local creek. You can kind of tell what they look like. And so these cuttings are probably about a foot tall and we'll see if they will uh, root out. Generally elderberries root really well and so we'll let them root out. We'll plot them, put them in potting soil and then let them grow in the shade for a little bit and then we can plant them or sell them or do whatever we want. So just from five or six uh, sticks you know we probably have 50 or so cuttings. I'll we'll probably get about 30 or so more. And then here's some more of those. I don't I think they're still frozen kinda can't really take them out. Um, these are hardwood cuttings, so you could plant these um, just in dirt over the winter, and they'll start rooting in the springtime, and you'll have new plants. Like this one's already putting out new new leaves. So I just covered them so they wouldn't frost over too much. Uh, but the overall process is just kind of dig a trench in here in the lava rock and put the sticks down there and on a certain frequency they'll just get some moisture on them and then they'll be good to go. So I'll probably fill up this tank. I'll probably have a lip of about two to three inches so I'll keep filling this up more and more um, as we go on. But that's the overall system right now and it's going to be used primarily to probably grow some random plants in there but mostly just grow new cuttings of blackberry, elderberry, and things that like to grow easily. So uh, that's the update for this time. Thanks for watching.